Del Ross Middle School is one of the first Northside Middle Schools to start a Lego Robotics Club. The students have been participating for the past four years. And now all of our middle schools have an opportunity to send two Lego Robotics teams to a regional competition. That's the hardest part about biomimicry. You see, we have that to learn about, that, 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 that. This is the Lego Robotics Club at Sol Ross Middle School. They meet after school on their own time with volunteer sponsors. Their mission is pretty simple. They build and program robots. It's fun and it's challenging. And I get to learn and make friends. It's an enjoyable activity for these students to learn more about science, technology, engineering and math, also known as STEM. It's really interactive. You get to do a lot of stuff such as building the robots or programming, so it really is for like everybody. If you don't like building it, you could program. If you don't like programming, you could build it. If you don't like doing that, there's measurements that you could take. Did you put 110 already? Yeah. 101. Oh, 101, uh, my bad. With a better understanding of how it all works, he's helping to lead his team to the first LEGO League middle school level competition. The competition focuses on research and solving problems while building robots and programming them to follow certain commands. It works by, first of all, you need to make the contraption. So like if you need to push something, you need to make something to push it. And then after that, you need to program the robot with the computer that we have to make it move in the certain direction at a certain speed. Like here, I'm learning more things that I didn't know. Seventh grader Laura Martinez is also in her second year of being involved in the robotics club. She says she likes that the club is attracting more girls this year to participate in STEM activities. I like programming and like measuring. I'm not really good at building, but uh, I really like working with computers and stuff like that. Their sponsor, Philip Manna, is a volunteer who first got involved as a mentor at Sol Ross. He then started up the robotics club, even supplying the initial robotics kit that was no longer needed from the company he worked for. He says while his team has won at other LEGO robotics competitions, he's so excited to get them ready for a regional competition where all Northside Middle Schools will be competing against each other. It's a layout of all of, of the game board essentially, and then within the game board itself are all these stations that are called missions, and your robot has to do a mission at each of those stations. Elena Estrada, who helps to oversee the LEGO robotics program for Northside Middle School, says, the district budgeted this year to provide the LEGO kits and contest fees to all middle schools because they saw the benefits of the STEM program and the students working in teams. They are so collaborative in nature. So not only are the, the teams working in, in programming and designing and building a robot to perform certain tasks in a mission, but they also have to compete in other um, parts of a competition where they have to explain the robot design. The LEGO Robotics program is going a long way at Sol Ross and all of Northside's middle schools as the program gives the students a chance to learn more about science, technology, engineering and math in a fun after school environment. Many of these students were first introduced to LEGO Robotics at the elementary level. Expanding the program to all middle schools has created a great opportunity for the students to continue to enhance their skills.